I think we're going to mix it up. We had a lot of different, uh, you know, a lot of different lineups and that's training camp though, you know, so uh, none of that matters. You know, you just got to be good in whatever lineup you're in um, and compete. And I think we did a good job competing today. Welcome to the second for first practice. What do you to kind of be out there? I mean, the first one's always fun. You know, media day's fun uh, just to be around, be around the guys, see everybody again. Um, obviously, the excitement level is really high. Um, we're just excited to get back going. I think everybody, um, you know, was in a, in a good place today. Energy was in a good place, so that's always good. Is the level of energy different than you noticed in camp before? Day one's always, everybody can always say the energy's good in day one. You know, it's what you do after that. It's what you do in game 50. It's what you do in game, you know, 62 on a Tuesday night. Uh, so everybody can, you know, fake it for the first day. Uh, you know, we got to continue uh, to stack good days, and that's what's important. Do you have an early read on the uh, personality feature of this team that's unique to the previous two that you were on? I think certain guys kind of set that standard. You know, we have DJ who's always goofy and keeps things lighthearted. Um, and, and, you know, obviously him and Russ get along really well and, and talk a lot. So, um, like I said, it's first day, everybody being in one place. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I know, you know, how, uh, how everything's going to go. But um, obviously, like I said, we have a lot of really good people in this organization. Uh, we never have those problems. What's different about you at this moment right now than this moment last year? Uh, I don't think anything's different. I think, uh, you know, I want to win. Um, that's what's important to me, and that'll never change. And I'm not going to change how I play. Uh, I'm not going to change anything I do. Um, obviously, everybody wants me to say that, you know, I shot all these shots. It doesn't really matter. You know, shoot it and make them, in, you know, in-game. Uh, so I don't need to sit here and talk about it. Uh, so, you know, put the work in and then show it on the court um, and, and try to win. You know, everything we do and everything I do will be trying to contribute to, you know, winning play um, and team wins, and that's what matters. What if I ask you this way? If Christian of a year ago plays Christian of right now one-on-one, -on -one, how does that game go? I mean, of course, like I said, uh, I'm going to tell you that I win. Uh, I think everybody would tell you that. Everybody, you know, works hard in the summer. Everybody tries to develop. Um, you know, I'm young. You know, I, I, I still need to put the work in. I still need to prove myself every single day. Um, you know, I don't think I have done anything in this league. And uh, so I'm motivated every single day to continue to prove that. Uh, prove who I am, not only to, you know, myself, but to my teammates, to my coaches, um, you know, to the staff, to the fans. Uh, you know, that's really important to me. Very unique uh, preseason trip this year. Uh, well, being stuck on a plane for 17 hours, uh, you know, with DeAndre Jordan, it's not always fun. Uh, but, you know, you got to make the most out of it. I think that, uh, you know, these trips, whether it's training camp, being in San Diego, um, or going to Abu Dhabi, will, all, you know, always bring you guys closer. Uh, sometimes, you know, you're stuck in the gym together, whatever it is. Um, we got a lot of guys with a lot of good personalities, so I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, getting to know the new guys and then continue to build, you know, what we have with the, uh, you know, guys that were on the previous roster. What's your strategy for tackling a 17-hour flight? I've never done it. Uh, I've never done it, uh, so I'm gonna try to learn, uh, try to listen to some people that have done it. Um, I can't, I can't say that I'm excited about the flight, but I am excited about, you know, being there and, and getting the play. You don't go into it with a goal of sleeping X number of hours. Anything like I haven't that. even thought that far. To be honest, I haven't, I haven't thought that far. But like I said, I'm excited to learn from what people tell me, um, you know, and try to be as ready as possible. What is the longest flight you've taken? Uh, I've been to Cabo. For the, actually, for the first time this summer, so that I guess that's probably the longest flight, maybe. Russell Wilson does high knee kicks. Do you see any players doing high knee kicks up and down the aisles to kind of to stay to stay in shape on a on a plane? You know what? So, whatever works for them, or you know whatever they think works, I'll let them do. You know, um, I won't be doing any high knees or or any any movement on the plane. But uh, if somebody else is, you know, I'm not going to judge them for that. Who would be most likely to do high knees on the plane? Yeah. <laughs> He's got that side hard. In. Um, I'm not even gonna say. It. I, mean, I know for who who would have done it last year, but I'm not gonna say this year. You talked about like three point shooting during during everything like, during media day yesterday. Did you ever find like a reason why the the top of the key versus the corner three point shooting was a little bit different for you, like like a little bit higher success rate above the break? Like, was there something that you're seeing? Was there something mechanical? No. Um, it's, it's you know it's an average for a reason I think uh, I, I did shoot it better above the break than I did in the corners, um, but I shot it really well you know above the break so um, I need to improve in the corner and I need to con continue what I did above the break and it wasn't anything that you know mechanically or anything I changed or anything I need to change it's just uh, you know I'm gonna have more opportunities this year I need to knock them down uh, like I said I you know don't want to talk too much about it um, doesn't matter you just got to make them in games. What are your uh, early impressions of Dario Saric? Uh, well, Dario's a really good player. Uh, obviously, he uh, he made things really tough on us last year. Um, it's hard to switch on to him for small. 
Um, and if he's, you know, if, if a big's on him, he can pick and pop, and that makes it tough too. He had a lot of good, he hit, hit a lot of pick and pop shots today. Um, he's just a really good player. He's smart, plays the right way. Um, I think he can do a lot of different things for us. You can throw him in a lot of different spots and lineups. Um, he can do a little bit of everything. So um, in the little time I got to play with him, obviously he played well today. Um, but just playing against him, I know how tough he is to switch on to for a smaller guy. Um, even guys my size are strong. Um, he can play in the post, and then if you get you know, a bigger guy, he can pick and pop. So uh, he presents a lot of different challenges for defense. Thanks, Christian. Thank you, Christian.